In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the Not64 channel for your Wii U menu. This is following the video I did on how to set up Not64 on your Wii U, so if you haven't done that already, make sure you go check out that video and get it set up. This Wii U channel will allow you to go straight to the Not64 emulator from your Wii U menu, saving you the steps of going into your virtual Wii and then Not64. All you need for this tutorial is a homebrewed Wii U with Not64 set up, along with the Not64 virtual Wii channel, which we set up in my previous video. You'll need an extraction software to extract the files we're going to download. You'll need WAP Installer GX2, which if you followed my homebrew Wii U tutorial, you'll already have that, but if not, you can do a quick search and find it, and a computer to download the files. So let's get started. Now if you click the link below, it'll take you to this Google page, and just in the top right, click the download button and it should download in the bottom left. Now open up your SD card you use to mod your Wii U. If you don't already have an install folder on your SD card, create one by right clicking, click new, and type install. I already have one so it's not going to let me create another one with the same name. Once that folder is created, click on the NOT64 zip file, double click NOT64 here. Uh, you can read about it. The uh, creator is Adam Catalyst if you want to check him out. But we don't need that, so we're just going to take this NOT64 file and drag it into our install folder on the root of our SD card. Now when that's transferred over, just go into install and you should see NOT64 version 1.0. Go into it and it should look like this with the app files and H3 files. That's what we want. So once you have that set up, your SD card should look like this. You should have that NOT64 folder in uh, in your install folder. And then in your Wii U apps, you should have WAP Installer GX2. So once your SD card looks like that, we're ready to head over to the Wii U and install the channel. Now over on your Wii U, make sure you're running your custom firmware. I'm using Tiramisu. So I'm gonna go into the Mii Maker to get the homebrew launcher. And then once your apps load, go and find where is it? WAP Installer GX2. Click on it and load it up. And then from here, I can only show you this on the gamepad, so I'll switch over to my camera. So once you're in WAP Installer, we're looking for our NOT64. Just click on it, click Install, click on Yes. And you can install it to your NAND, which is your Wii U storage, or your USB drive if you have one set up. I'm just going to do it to my NAND it's pretty small it shouldn't take up too much space but it'll run through this little process and begin installing only 10 megabytes so it should be quick and successfully installed just press ok and when you press ok it'll go through that go through the screens again and back back to warp installer once we're back here, we're ready to go back to the Wii U menu and check out our new channel. So I'll meet you there. And just like that, we have our Nintendo 64 channel for Not64. So it matches well with our SNES channel and our USB Loaded channel, Nintendo. Slowly getting the best Wii U menu ever. But let's test it out and see if it works. And as you can see, it supports the Wii U gamepad. Do you want to use it? I'm just going to click yes. And as you can see, we are on Not64 straight from the Wii U menu. It saves a lot of time compared to going to the virtual Wii menu and then to Not64. Just because of the whole process of switching over to the virtual Wii makes the screen go crazy. But now you can just do it with one click. Now that's it for the video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and uh, subscribe if you want to see more Wii U tutorials in the future. If you really found it helpful, you're welcome to donate below the video using super thanks. That is much appreciated, but not expected. But I hope you enjoy your new Not64 channel for your Wii U menu, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!